Okay, good morning. We're continuing Mishnah Bro Daf Ashro. We're up to Simon. Really up to Simon Tzadi Vav. We just have to finish one Sif in Simon Tzadi Hey, and that is Sif Dalad. Toiv lechavein raglav gam b'shosh shaimar kedusha em shleach sibar. It is a good idea to put your feet together, even when you say kedusha with the shleach sibar. By the way, it's interesting. There are two reasons why we put our feet together by Shman Esrei. The Mechaber gave a reason is L'hidam Islam Alachim. Because you're speaking with the Shechina, so you have to remove all physical uh, desires and to try to be similar to a Malach. That's the first reason. You want to be like a Malach. That would apply even if you're sitting in a wagon or... Um, we pointed out that maybe a woman then would not have to put their feet together because there's no Indian of by women, but there's another reason to put your feet together like the Kaihanim. And that reason would apply to, uh, to women as well. So that's what we saw in um, to be comparable to the Kaihanim that are going in the Beis HaMikdash. That comes, by the way, these two reasons are found in the Yushalmi in Brachas Davhe. Fine. Siftal. So here we're, ha- we're learning that for Kedusha, you're not required to put your feet together, but it's a good idea. In other words, you know, people take it... Could you hear me? People take it very seriously. People uh, take the, uh, very seriously the dinam of uh, putting your feet together by Kedusha, but it seems like it's uh, it is not it's not so chamer. It's just a nice thing to do, and it's not even sourced in the Gemara. Why? So, so says the Mishnah Berurah Gam B'Shah Shaharei Oimrim Keshem Shemak Dishim Oisay B'Shmei Raraim. Because you say in Kaddish, the Kaddish Hashem Chab Oilam Keshem Shemak Dishim Oisay B'Shmei Raraim. You say in Kaddish, the Kaddish Hashem Chab Oilam Keshem Shemak Dishim. I. But some people that have no sukh they could switch to Ashkenaz. So it's okay. They could say that also. So uh, it's in order to be similar to the Malachi Hasharis. Now, how long should you put your feet together when you daven? Um, the Aur Chashulcha and the Kafachayim, they write until the end of Hakel HaKadosh. In other words, you should keep your feet together until the Chazin finishes Hakel HaKadosh. The Shev HaLevi explains that the end of the Bracha Hakel HaKadosh is the conclusion of Kedusha. Especially those who daven Nusach Ashkenaz. And they say, Ladar Vadar Nagid Galecha. Ulenetzachim Kedushascha Nakdish. Which is Mamish the end of Kedusha. Listen to the words. Rav Shama Zaman also says that you should be concerned for this. Except for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, that there's a very lengthy third bracha. You know, I always wondered about this. And then you don't say Baruchat Tashem Akel Hakadosh. You had Oid Yisgar Lanu. You have all that stuff. <coughs> then you don't have to be. Um, you don't have to be careful. In other words, according to Rosh Hashanah, you could be Mekel on Yomim Noraim because I guess it's so long. However, the Torah's Chaim and the Chaim Knievsky say that you do not have to be Machmer even the rest of the year. Fine. Simen Tzadivav. Sheyimna kol hatir dos kadei You should remove all distractions in order to be able to have Kavana. Kishum Espalel, when you're davening, lo yechoiz biyadai tefillin. You should not hold tefillin. You should not hold tefillin. V'loi sefer mikasei hakodesh. You should not hold svarim. V'loi ka'ara malaya. You should not hold a full plate of tomatoes or anything else. V'loi sakin, and you should not hold a knife. 
umais or money, vikikar or a loaf, and they shall leave by alem shleipu. You're thinking about it, so it doesn't fall. Vitarid, and you're going to be distracted. Vitzespato kavanos, and it's going to be mavato. You are kavana. Vilulav bismanoi, a lulav at its right time, muter lechayz biyadoi. You're allowed to hold. Kivan sho achiz biyadoi he mitzvah since. Holding it in your hand is a mitzvah. Enoi nitrad b'shvil. You will not be distracted. Basically, you're now to hold things um, while you daven. Why? Because it's distracting. Now, l'chayu, this is not just talking about shemayin esrei, because otherwise, why are we talking about lulav bezmanoi? There's no zmanoi, I guess, for those who would hold the lulav the whole day. Okay. So, so let's assume it is talking about Shema Esrei specifically, and it's because it's distracting. Kishu Mespalo, the Primagadim Kasav, Duadin, Bishas Kriyashma, Upsuka the Zimra, the Primagadim says the same thing would be at the time of Kriyashma and Psuke the Zimra. I, you're even allowed to do your work if you have a job during Kriyashma, so why can't you hold something? Says Rabbi Yashiv. That's because of Bito Malacha. Otherwise, you can't even hold something during Psuke de Zimra. Um, so you want to know, what, does that mean you can't hold a cell phone in your hand during davening? Of course not. You can't hold the cell phone even if it's off. Even if your cell phone is off, you're not allowed to hold it during davening. It's befits a Sifin Shulchan You can't hold anything. You're not allowed to hold things. What about if it's on? I just want to show you something very interesting. In the uh, the Piskei Tshuvas, Simen Sadivav, Mikan Ilmad Ad Kama Chomer Lahachsik Bebegadov Telephone B'Shas Hatfila. Not just to hold in your hand, to have it on you. How chamor it is to have it on you. Ha'olo l'tzal tzibakal. It's likely to ring. Ula hatred gamashar mesvalim to disturb everyone else. Shegaratve mikol shar lach shgasu begemar b'shochnach al asir shlo lafri lekavanas mosam. It's worse than any other type of disturbance during davening. It's worse than walking within somebody's dalad amos of tefila. V'gam oisa bekach schoik vehitol. Mikadusha's base of Medrash, you're making laughed, a laughing stock out of the shul. Vafilu asaya matzav sharotat, even if you put on vibrate, that you're the only one who feels it. Hareze bechlal hahalacha hanomedas hacha shaasar lahachsik etzlay shum davar shaolavatu kavanasay. Ah. Comes the chida, and the chida says it's true that if you hold something that's likely to disturb your kavana, you don't have to daven again. Yeah, you don't have to daven again, but also your tefillah is not listened to. So basically, um, if somebody wanted to ensure that their tefillah would not be listened to, they could just bring a cell phone into the show. It's so easy, you know, it's very easy to have your tefillah not listened to. Just have a phone on you during davening. That would be an easy way. Let's say like Klal Yisrael is in a Shasakana in Eretz Yisrael and you wanted to cause harm to the Jewish people, then you could do that by just bringing your phone in you to the shul. Okay, I know I never said that before. Okay, Vaiter, Sivkatan, Beis, Lo Yechais, you should not hold. If you don't have to do it again, if you don't have to do it again, you don't have to daven again unless you know yet you didn't have kavana by avos. Umuter hashatz lahachsik asefer Torah biyadoi b'shabes kishayimer yukum porkan. It's mutter for shatz to hold the sefer Torah in his hand when he says yukum porkan. Now this, from here we see something very important: that this halacha, that you're now to hold something during davening, applies to matoivu. It applies to Yigdal. It applies to Aleinu. You cannot hold anything the entire davening. Because otherwise, why would we need to say that a Shatz could hold the Sefer Torah? During Yikam Porkan. Yikam Porkan is not Shemana Esrei. Or the, the Dershah brings from the Prima Gadim. You'd be allowed to hold the Sefer Torah on Hoshana Rabbah at the time of the Hoshanas. Since your Kavana 
is to daven for those who learn Torah, al kein machse kasei for Torah Therefore, you hold the Sefer Torah in your hands, v'loy l'shem shmira. You're not guarding it. It's your kavana to pray for those who learn. V'hava k'may lulav b'zmanoi. That's very interesting. Number one, it's interesting because we don't hold the Sefer Torah when we say Yikam Parkan. I don't think. The Chazan doesn't hold the Sefer Torah when he says Yikam Parkan. But you'd be allowed to because you're davening for the Loim Dei Torah. So it's not that you're, you're not, it's not that you're Shoymer it, you're holding it to daven for the Loim Dei Torah. The person did Hakba is holding it. Yeah, but he's talking about the Shatz. He's not talking about the guy doing Hagba. The person who's, who did Hagba and is holding it to get for he's also davening for the Lamb Day Torah or he's holding it to be Shomer? He's holding it to guard it. But the Mishnah is not talking about him. Mishnah is talking about the Shatz. And the Mishnah is saying the Shatz could hold it because Kavanasai Lispalal Aloim Day Torah. I'm just pointing out, we don't, by us, the shots does not hold it. Um, the Ritva says that by Lulav, that since it's Chaviv Alav, even though you're focused on it a little bit, it's not Mefana Liba Levatala. V'havakumay Lulav Bizmanoi. By the way, Lahalacha, we hold that someone who holds a lulav for the whole davening, it's yuhara, it's gaiva. You're allowed to hold the Sefer Torah when you revarch l'chaydash. Why? Because by holding the Sefer Torah, he quotes from the Makar Chaim, that's the Chavos Yair, your tefillahs will be more neskabel. Your tefillahs will be more neskabel, which gives a new understanding of the tefillahs of, let's say, Ana Hashem Hashiyana on Simchas Torah, that the one holding the Sefer Torah, he's Mespala. When you're holding a Sefer Torah, the tefillahs are more, more Neskabel. You hear that, Shlomo? When you hold the Sefer Torah and you daven, the tefillah is more Neskabel. Okay. Or you shouldn't hold a Sefer, Veloy Sefer, Vuadin Kol Svarm Shalano, or any book, or Ka'ara Malaya, or a plate full of food, Shaliboy Allah, your Attention is going to be on it. So it should not be poured out. And by a knife, you're going to be careful, you're thinking about it, that it doesn't fall out of your hands and get stuck in your foot. Money, that it shouldn't scatter. And even if they're bound up, you're worried, maybe they'll be uh, ruined. Unless you hold them in a way that there's no concern that they might get lost. The Kasa Beberke Yosef. The Beberke Yosef writes to Adin the Asr Lahoyshev Tinoik Lafanov Bishas Tfila. The Beberke Yosef writes that it's Asr to position a child in front of you at the time of davening. Why? Because it's disturbing. You know, many, many um, fathers, they like to be good fathers, so they dedicate their babysitting time to shachras. So they come in with the kid. The kid doesn't even know the aleph bays. But don't worry, if you plug him with enough lollipops, if you stick nine lollipops in his mouth at once, he won't make any noise. So uh, that's not the time to... Uh, to bring little kids into a shul, it disturbs you and it disturbs other people. If you can't hold a tomato in your hand by davening because you're afraid that uh, it might disturb you, tomatoes make less noise than kids, by the way, just pointing out. Shlomo, what do you say? Who makes more noise, kids or tomatoes? Shlomo says tomatoes make more noise, but no, he's just joking. Um, kids actually make more noise than tomatoes, so if you can't hold a tomato, not a good idea to bring a kid. Umais v'kikar, or money or a loaf. V'davka hani, davka money or loaf. Shem yipli yishvem hefsedai azikulai. That if they fall, it will be a loss or they'll get damaged. Aval shar dvar motor lachas. Other zachin you're allowed to hold. Meaning, according to this way of understanding, it's davka picking um, 
items that if they fall, they will either hurt you or get ruined or cause a loss. But let's say other things, I don't know what, a battery you could hold. Some, I, you know, I happen to have a lot of batteries here. So, but some say it's not, it's not only a loaf or a... Um, it's not only a loaf or money, but anything else. Ella or Sanaka picked a typical thing. The truth is, you shouldn't hold anything at the time of davening. Okay. There's a question. Are you allowed to hold tefillin or a sefer Torah in your hand if you're afraid because of ganavim? The efshir dehitirulai. It could be it's permitted if you're uh, holding it to guard it from ganavim. Mutter lechayz. Alula bezmani yalehod. Nafal sefer ala aretz. Ven yachal lechavin mutter lagbiyah. Your mil shman esrei. And a sefer falls on the floor. What should you do? What should you do? You continue davening. What do you mean, what should you do? Oh, but the guy can't have kavana. Oh, if then the guy can't be mechavin, then you're allowed to pick it up. When you finish the bracha that you are in middle of. What if you have to walk to get the book? So again, if it's not disturbing you, you don't interrupt. If it's disturbing you, you could even walk and get it. But if it's not disturbing you, don't interrupt. Certainly, you should not motion with your finger. Let's say you began down with Shemana Esrei and you got discombobulated. Meaning, you're davening by heart, you're in the middle of Al Tzadik and Al Chasidim, and you heard the long Tachnon, and then all of a sudden you're saying Piyutim for Purim. You're saying the Kroivas for Purim. You don't know what you don't know what went on. You don't know where you are, what you're up to. Mutter Lelech, you allowed to get up and go. Likach Misham Siddur. You could walk in Milosh Manasseh and get a Siddur. What if you're in the middle of Al and you realize, hey, I don't know Al Anisim. I only know the song part. So Rukhaim Kiyavsky says it could be you could get out of your place and go get a siddhar. If you could be marames to somebody to bring you a siddhar, it's better to do that. Mm -hmm. What if you have a halachic question, Mil Shman Esrei? You're allowed to go to the, take out a Mishnah and look up the halacha. And what if you can't figure out the halacha? You could ask a shayla in the middle of Shema Esrei. And what if it takes a long time, enough time to finish the whole Shema Esrei? Rabbi Yashif says, you only have to go back lemakoim she pasak. Now, the, um, what if lemakoim she pasak? Okay, Rabbi Yisai. We will hold it over here. Okay, Shkayach, everyone. Have a good day. I will see you, Bezos Hashem, next Monday. The next couple of days, Rabbi Yeager will give the Dvar Halacha. And in the meantime, I wish everybody a good rest of the week. Kaltav.